Let's do a let's do a Judas run. I haven't done a Judas run in months. I feel like it's time. This feels like a terrible plan. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do that. We're this is gonna be our last run. I'm gonna do a Judas. No scum means faster run. Of course, Judas means possibly dying very early on. If we end up fighting the haunt, it's gonna be a problem. If we end up fighting most things, it's gonna be a problem. Though, I believe Judas starts with the damage up, correct? Yes. Okay, so he's like base Isaac for the most part, except for cripplingly low health. Book of fuck. Bad time for me to want to scratch my face here. Unfortunately for me. <laughs> Even a champion enemy can screw this. Oh. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I don't know, but I think this run is going to be the run of nightmares. Okay, so we're going to go back for the uh, shop for a second. Do it, the damages will be insane. Be a huge damage upgrade. You guys... You guys are assholes. Alright. So, Chet really wants me to do it. Chet really wants me to do it. Alright. I just want to get one more bomb and or coin first. If we have if we have the stopwatch on top of it. Then I'm okay with it. Just the risks, man. The risks. I don't... Like, I could. Alright, we're doing it. Because you know what? If everything else is really slow... Then I can do it. Okay. I can't believe I'm scumming a Judas run. That doesn't even... That's not even supposed to happen. Okay, so the problem is my range is going to suck. But, everybody else is going to have to deal with it either. But bam Okay. Of course, I'm not going to get that spirit heart, which I so desperately need. But whatever. We're, we're probably going to insta-give most enemies right off the bat. That's a very good feeling. You can just push that battery around. Wow. Okay, turns out can't insta-give enemies on hit. Goody. At least not as much as I want. That said, we are Judas. So chances are... We're going to be able to do it anyway. And I hope it would give me a bomb. The answer is no bomb. Oh, hey. I'm glad I got into the shop. I just realized there's a second secret room there. Okay. Floaty heads have 15 life, so... Just shy. Oh, well. What's up, Monstro? How much damage is this going to do? The answer is lots. Never mind. Here's the question. If I get Judas's shadow on top of this... I assume it doesn't stack with Judas's damage multiplier, because you're changing your base character around. Still, things that would help substantially? So many things. Mainly everything is slow, but uh, good god, yes. Good god, good game. Uh, there's nothing else I can get here, correct? Correct. Uh, battery's meaningless, and I would have loved to buy that spirit heart for three coins. That said, slowing everything down, combination of this, we've scummed the run. And it's pretty much good games, good game in my favor. I need a little bit more damage here. Unfortunately, it one-shot everything. That said, this is, I mean, oh shoot, what was the, um, what was the name I gave myself in Armello all those months ago? Slow, um, oh, uh, Chieftain Slowmo Slapaho. That's what I am. I am totally Chieftain Slowmo Slapaho right now. I'm slow. My enemies are slow. My damage is slow. They will never hit me. 
but it works. Okay, and we've got two red hearts, which is a really good feeling. Okay. This will grow a ton when I get a damage upgrade. This is not wrong. Man, even those guys that are... Fuck. Usually concerned. At least we don't have to worry about uh, getting the deal with the devil one way or another. I'm gonna bait them back to these, these pots if I can. Come on, I'm right here. Fuck. I didn't realize they could still do their jump. Okay, we're going back for that red heart. I almost killed myself. My pure greed. Oh, man. Now, if only Wander had decent aim. Dude, it is hard to fire tears that are s slower than you. That is not a good feeling in this game. Just putting that out there. But yes, my aim is garbage right now. Uh, the problem is... Oh, thank you. Do we go for the red heart? I mean, we might as well. Chances are we're not going to be using it for much, but still. Well, let's just slowly churn our way through all of these, uh... Here's the question. Yeah, it instantly gets slowed the moment, the moment I get through that. Neat. Okay, come on. One of these things has to have a key in it. I don't even know. God. Is it time to bring back Solo Armello, seeing as nobody else seems to want to play it with me? Maybe. I mean, eventually Armello will go on sale for $5, and then everybody's going to be playing it with me. I'm going to buy a four-pack. I don't even know if there's going to be a four-pack. I'll buy it anyway. Or just ask for more, because the developers are nice people. I don't know. Hey, we get a key. Okay, cool. Come on, have something amazing. This does not count. Hey, it gives me bombs, though. That's potentially useful for something. I don't know. I can bomb my way into things. Skulls. Tinted rocks, really. Ne needed more bombs on the previous level. Now, here's the question. Does a high damage count affect... I'll bomb that. Okay, that didn't work out for me. Oh, shit. Is he not affected by the slow? He's not affected by the slow. Shoot. Oh, we get the screw. Oh, we get the screw. Screws the tears up and a shot speed up, correct? Yes. Well, we might end up with a deal with the angel run. You know what? That's not terrible on Judas. So I'm feeling my, uh, like my problems have mildly abated since the last time. Uh, let's keep going. Slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. Seriously, slow your roll, people. I can't slow mine anymore. Oh god. This is going to be a bit... Oh, right, I've got spiders. Okay, this is going to be a lot easier with spiders. Now, do we see any tinted rocks in here? I don't. That doesn't mean that not necessarily there, but still. Oh man, okay good, the bones are slowed. I wasn't sure about that one. I figured they would be, just like everything else. I know blood lasers aren't, really. If I get hit in this situation, it's going to be a sad place. Okay. We get a key man. Let's blow key man up. I don't even care. Could play against real players. Nah. No, I'm not going to play against real players. I mean, it could, but it would suck for the most part. Because, honestly, it's the banter that you really want in Armello. Everything else is not so... I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Now, I could walk over those mushrooms, but that seems like a altogether terrible plan. I don't know. Either way. But yeah, the, the bots that can play brain dead. I don't know. See, the thing is, like, with... Bots don't play nasty. I don't know. I guess I just have my, my like, preset dislike for facing off against human opponents that I don't know. And I'm always going to have that problem. Because I always hate facing against human opponents that are going to be petty. Or, you know, douchey over some reason or another. Whereas I know, like, bots, they're not vindictive. They're stupid. And it also lets me roll around with, like, dumb strategies and have fun. 
I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think on it. Might be worthwhile. Because I don't know how much interest there is still in our mellow. I mean, there was at the beginning of September. Let's see. So we get a battery. We get a lot of things. Nothing useful, though. And we can get into the deal with the devils. So we got that going for us. God, I hope I can get some shot speed here. Whipworm would be a godsend. Ah, didn't even realize he had dumped a spider down. It blends perfectly with the floor. Uh, let's see. Strike through would be amazing. Dead onion would be horrific. Hilarious. Horrific. But yeah, if I could get Whipworm again, we'd be in a really good spot for victory and stuff. So, we get speed and range up. It's not bad. Now, do I want to go Guppy's head on this one? I don't really care about Guppy right now. Oh, Dead Onion would just reset it from minimum to minimum. Good to know. Okay. So we could Guppy's head. Can't re-roll it, obviously. Brother Bobby, is it worth it? For the battle room? Not overwhelmingly. I'll think about these things. As we progress on. I don't know. At least we've got a lot of room and stuff. So I can kind of do what I want. That guy was a champion. Didn't even notice it. Okay. Now, here's the question. Do I run over all the mushrooms? Like a moron. I could. There's not a whole lot of red hearts here. But if I could get some, like, really beneficial pills, that would be a good feeling. We'd lose our spirit heart, but you know what? We get some acceptable things. Maybe a bit yes, maybe a bit no. This might be a problem. Okay. We can do it. We just need the momentum shot. Okay, so we lose our spirit heart, but I can run over all those mushrooms and maybe I can get something useful. Honestly, magic mush would be a godsend. Uh, lots of lots of mushes. Now, can you get all the mushrooms from the mushrooms in this game? I know that seems silly, but like, can you get a uh, small odd mushroom from just blowing up a mushroom? I don't know if I've ever checked that one. Hey, I think this was another range up. Keep stacking those. Interesting. They make a weird pop noise whenever I run over them. Okay, gotta watch my health just a little bit further. I walked in here. We've got a spirit heart that I can grab. So that's useful. Obviously, rerolls do me no good. So we'll grab that red heart. There are more mushrooms in here. We're... No. Okay. So we got a bunch of range ups. That actually works in favor with my current setup. I'll grab the spirit heart just in case I actually get to deal with the devil worth something. And let's get out of here. Because... Guppy's head's not going to do me a whole lot of good. Getting Guppy would be amazing. But Guppy's head's not going to do me any good. <sighs> I can't re-roll it. So let's just operate under the assumption that it's going to do me nothing. At least, at least we can shoot across rooms now, I think. Yep, my range... Oh, shit, there's a fly there. I didn't even notice my... Can I, sh can I shoot across the room that way? Okay, I'll have to check... In the horizontal, too. Wow, they actually... Yeah. Okay, so that's one problem fixed. Now all I need is... Is to counteract the crippling tears down. Which is going to be kind of a rough ride to begin with. Watch me get, like, Polyphemus or something like that. I can get that chest... You're right. Coulda. Wasn't thinking. Oh well. Let's go get that chest. It's probably not the end of the world. It's this one, right? Yeah, I can totally get to the- oh, crap! I forgot I don't even need bombs to get to these things. Alright, so we got Pretty Fly. That's useful. 
We're not looking for rerolls here, so that actually really simplifies gameplay. This is this is kind of like me retraining myself, co uh, combined with kind of a weird, awkward situation. Because usually my Judas's runs aren't as tense as this one. Usually they're just kind of OP and ridiculous. Okay. Hey, Drinma. Whoa, Drinma. Haven't seen you in a while. I think. I started playing War for the Overworld as my Patreon game of the month. It's actually fairly fun. I think, I mean, it makes me want to go back to Dungeons 2, which I'm probably going to do after I finish. Okay, after I finish War for the Overworld, just because as much as I like War for the Overworld, it's missing a couple of things. It's just Dungeons 2 doesn't have it either, and unfortunately, none of them do. Uh, my, my problem with w both Dungeons 2 and War for the Overworld is all I want is a game that is effectively a glorified tower defense, except for it's, you know, me managing a dungeon. I don't want to go to the overworld. I don't want to go to the underworld. I just want to go get my hands. I, I just want to get my hands on a game that's effectively just, you have forces of good raiding your dungeon, set up defenses, train your monsters, be prepped for it. And I've yet to see any game that plays like that, which is kind of a shame. Because I really want to play just pure and simple dungeon defense. And I have not seen that as a concept. So Dungeon Keeper. See, the thing is, I've never actually played the original Dungeon Keeper, so I don't know. Two of Diamonds. Ah, uh, hold on to it. Tower. Nope. And also Tower. Okay, back to the Two of Diamonds. So the first one. Yeah, see, the problem is the original Dungeon Keeper is so old that it's, like, hard for me to... Ow. Hard for me to really want to play it. Like, if they had, like, a really HD re-release or something like that, count me in. But... I don't know. I feel like they added a bunch. Just to make, uh... Well, we might as well book a Blile to speed this one up. Because fuck these guys. I don't know. I guess I do have the original Dungeon Keeper. I should probably load it up at some point. As kind of a funsy thing. Okay, more drugs. Tears up. Hey! Range down. Or well, whatever. More drugs! At the cost of health. Ah. I mean, that actually seems kind of fairly spot on, unfortunately. Yep. And death to you. Speaking of KOTOR 2, that's an interesting problem. What happens when I get a Patreon sponsor for a series that I actually want to do? Do I spread it out and, like, try and make it fair? Or do I just say, fuck it, I do what I want? I think I'm just going to do that and record a bunch of KOTOR 2 tomorrow. Alright. I think... Shoot, I gotta... I gotta stop. Oh, really? That's not how that works. Okay. I thought I could push a poop over and make a bridge out of it. Because I thought that's what I just did, and I was very confused. Turns out... No, I must have knocked over one of these mushrooms. Or something. Range down. Scratch that. Anything else good here? The answer is nope, not really. Okay. Dungeon Keeper iOS. 18 hours to mine the rock. You make me sad. You really do. Though it does feel like EA is kind of learning from their weird transgressions here and there. I don't know if they ever properly will, but it does feel like they are learning. To some degree or another. Okay, so we can't reroll anything. Where's the... Jeez. Curse room. Might as well go in here. Don't step on the fires. It's gonna suck. We get another spirit heart and more bombs. Which does me no good. Oh well. This is a weird run, owing to the fact that I do not care about spirit hearts this time around. Usually I'm always trying to like stack them like crazy, but right now I'm kind of wasting them all because mushrooms. Uh, you know what? I should probably hold on to that for just a little while longer. Let's see, we've got the two of diamonds. We've got a fair amount of money. Haven't found the shop yet. Range down. Right. We don't want to range down. Obviously. Now we found the shop. Let's go in. I really don't have a whole lot of keys, surprisingly enough. So we can get another spirit heart. I'm going to hold on, on to that one. It really depends on what we find in the deal with the devil. Or deal with the angel if we're unlucky. Or lucky, I don't know. Kind of depends on their perspective. We're just running it at so low spirit heart situation that's like, I don't know what's going to happen in that regard. 
Okay, luckily if he shoots at me, I have, like, an insane amount of time to just dodge, so, like, why even do the hide behind him strategy? I'm more likely to get hit just from, like, random fire that way. This way, doesn't matter. Just gotta be slow, steady, win the race, you know. God, it looked menacing. And we get to deal with the angel. Okay, so we'll take the magic scab. Let's see what we got in here. It's got scapular. Well, I don't have a choice, so scapular it is. Almost walked on those. Get the last mushroom. Get telepills. Let's... Is there anything in the shop that's worth shopping for? The answer is, I'll pick up the spirit heart. I'll save the two of diamonds, though. I'm probably going to get more money by the next use. And I don't care too much about telepills. Alright, down we go. <sighs> you know, I said this was going to be a fast run. It's not. This is comically slow. Like, surprisingly so, really. And I guess a lot of it has to do with... I mean, co combo... Combo eyeshadow with the... Uh, yeah, I should have just picked up Guppy's head. Though I might have died as a result of it, I don't know. Uh, combo eyeshadow with like zero damage ups apart from it, and it's just like, welcome to Slowsville. And then throw the, uh, throw the stopwatch into the mix. Because what else are you gonna do? Nothing. That's what. I don't even know. Air room luck, 15% chance. See, the thing is, I, I don't really want to go to the I am error room. Well, it wouldn't really matter that much. Take splash, slash damage. Still not getting what I need here. Oh shoot! Did that make my, did that make my tears smaller? I think it did. Weird. Not used to that. I don't have any keys left. That's a bit of a problem. This is only depth one. Okay, cool. So it's just the game. Okay. Gotta go slow. Ah. He can't hit me from here. But all those little guys are gonna be a problem. Oh, that's my splash damage. Okay, so I ha don't have to worry about it so much. Okay, cool. We get the pentagram, and we get to deal with the devil, which has ceremony robes. Unfortunately, uh, we'll pick up Gimp Mask, just because I'm gonna be taking a lot of hits from mushrooms here. Now, here's the question. Do we farm for anything? Keys would be nice just so I could get into the shop. Let's break all the rocks. Now let's go. <laughs> oh, right. I forget, forget I have Liberty Cap. Okay. I am comically slow. This really isn't the end of the world, but still. Uh, good night, DZ Rocker. Try and get more sleep next time, even if I value your presence on stream. Okay, obviously that's not going to give me anything good, but still. Uh, we probably have enough to get into the curse room if we want to, which isn't a bad deal. Might have something useful for me. Great, put the key on the other side of the barrier that I can't cross. You know what, let's boost up the damage on this one. Robes are a damage up, right? Yes, they are. And so, I am already feeling the difference here. What I really would like is some, uh, shot speed, though, and unfortunately, chances are we're not gonna get any at this point. Oh well. Curse room isn't going to be the end of the world. Oh right, I can I forgot I can walk on all of these rocks and just crush them. I like it really does any good, but uh. Okay, and this was a waste. Perfect. Hey Jenny. Oh. Now if I could figure out how to get myself over there somehow, we would be glorious. I'm going to try using a hobby bomb. Hobby bomb will not do it. Damn. Because, yeah, you can't shoot a bomb over a gap. Man. Because, yeah, if I if I could get a bomb over there or flight or something and just cross over to that side, ooh, we'd probably get all sorts of goodies. Hey, we got a key. That means I can go shopping. That's good. I don't know what I'm going to get from shopping, but still. Let's just crush all the... Black skulls. In retrospect, probably shouldn't have. Not until I was done with the floor. 
Well, it doesn't matter. Two. Oh, we get two two of diamonds. All right, that's handy. I'll take 64 coins if you please, sir, and or madame. I don't know. Ooh, hanged man. All right, there's our ticket to freedom, and or just you know riches or actually nothing. I I don't even know what we're going to even get. Could be something good. First and foremost, let's get some money. Some more money. Let's go back. Cash money! Okay, so we get- Oh no! Hi everyone, I'm Wanderbot. Also, giant moron. Okay. Let's go cross our fingers that there's a... A fucking ladder or something. Oh god, I'm so used to just having flying all the time. Oh man, that uh, this is this is what happens when I try and record Isaac really freaking late at night. I just am stupid beyond belief. Oh god damn. I don't think I could have done that any worse. Oh well, whatever. At least we're sitting on a fair amount of health, so I mean uh... Okay. Failure of scumpions. Yeah, pretty much. We've still got one more chance at something. We don't need a battery. I don't know what that drug does. We'll get this one. We get another range up. Alright, cool. Oops. It's not what I want to do. We get this, which does me next to no good. Okay. Oh, well. Could have been worse. No, really couldn't have. I guess I could have taken a lot of damage in there. I am a goddamn moron sometimes. Alright, that's not bad. I don't know how well I can use this. Watching him give me a flying video. Video, uh, flying something. Luck down, useless. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try and attempt this one. I'm trying to, trying to think of, like, weird clutch ways to get this one back. Unfortunately, this guy's kind of our last ditch effort. Whoops! Gamble, gamble for flight, do it. I'm gonna try this guy first. Then we're gonna gamble for flight. We might be lucky. Because look at that bounty. It is there. It is real. I could have had it. I'm a dumbass. Let's see. Uh, can you get a flight from Heart Beggar? You can get any deal with the devil item from him. I think. Oh, well, instead we get growth hormones. Okay, time to go gambling. I'm just going to start attacking. Just in case it gives me something shitty. Come on. I believe in you. I guess this could also give me keys. Which I'm in equal need of. Honestly, the, um... The stuff I could get from that one room aren't enough to really make me regret things. It's definitely stupid. Like, I'm not going to deny how flipping moronic that entire situation was. I just always leave to clear the room. And that is, like, the one time it was not a good idea. Oh, well. Fine, we get a bunch of these. We get a range down. Shoot. Well, there goes my key. Wonder I need a Red Bull. No, I need to go to bed. This is past my bedtime at this point. Which means sleepy time Wanderbot. However, Sleepy Time Wanderbot needs to finish this goddamn run. Okay, so I'm gonna stop at 15. Okay, no dice. No things that we could work with. Uh, we could get the... Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna blow this sucker up. Chances are I'm not gonna get a whole lot of pills left. So let's blow that up. Two two of hearts, a world card. Do not doubt how committed I am to the idea of somehow getting through this. I, don't, I think we've exhausted all of our options at this point. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I have anything left. Nuts! I tried really hard on this one, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, well. Sometimes you just have to read them and weep. And I'm weeping. Okay. Because yeah, you're not going to do me any good. Second secret room. And you'd be like right here, probably. Nope, it's not. Whatever. I don't even care. Let's... I've spent way too much room on that one... I, I've spent way too much time on that one floor just trying to get some black hearts and miscellaneous other stuff that really isn't going to help me along because I don't need most of it. Let's just use this here. Like, I, I could do it. I could maybe do it. Maybe try and redeem myself here. But at this point, let's just, let's just go, let's just go for the kill. Let's finish this run. I'm just wasting all of my time for effectively nothing. You know, a very small, measly reward of three spirit hearts. Black hearts, admittedly, which are nice, but not enough to, like, really make a difference there. Yeah, let's go with the Splunker's hat. I got plenty of bombs. I got so many bombs, it's kind of ridiculous. Let's see what else we get here. Hanged man. All right, I'm going to hold on to that as kind of penance for what I did earlier. Oh, well. Man is not truly devoted to the scum. Well, there's some element to the scum. It is also called beating a run within a reasonable point in time. Okay, so we get the world. Let's use that now. We get another hanged man. Jesus. Look at all these. Look at all these dudes. It's excessive. And problematic. My health is dwindling. I'm not fully prepared for laser dudes. I'm fully prepared for pretty much everything else in this game, not laser dudes. Okay, so unfortunately we squandered all of our money trying to trying to get the uh trying to get another hangman card. What do we get instead? I wonder if both stopwatches sync. Probably not. It'd be funny though. Okay, red flame is down. We should probably go for the item room. For we've already got the item room. There's actually really no reason to stick around. Let's uh, check out the secret, I guess. Let's grab the spirit heart while we're here. We don't need any more money. Okay, well, there's the money. I guess I should probably grab a key. Just in case. Because everything else is meaningless there. That'd be kind of cool if the two stopwatches worked together so you could, uh, to give you, like, the ability to stop time randomly. That'd be interesting. Or maybe, like, increase the character speed? No, that'd be a problem. That'd be a bad move. Ooh! Ooh, crawl space. I knew I was gonna get one of these at some point. Let's not go down it, though. Don't want to reset the encounter. And we get... Access to... Nothing particularly useful. Well, we could get the ladder, but let's be honest here. No. Okay, so we got two of hearts and hanged man. Now, if I could get something that would teleport me out of the uh, deal with the devil, that'd be kind of... Shit. That'd be kind of nice. Not like it's going to make much of a difference. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a D6, so any teleporting in and out of the deal with the devil is meaningless. What do we get here? Bunch of red hearts. Useless. I could get the uh, double pill bag thing, but I don't think that would do me any good either. Not at the cost of one red heart. 
So let's fight incredibly slow mo mom. With, have I really only gotten one damage up this entire time? Yeah, I got the pentagram a while ago. Oh no, I got the ceremonial robes and the pentagram, or is it just the pentagram? I don't know. I haven't been paying enough attention. I'm mostly trying to do damage control here instead of actually kill her. It's slow going. Gonna be frank here. Oh well. Does not matter. Honestly, like, except for except for Isaac himself, we're pretty much golden. How long, how long did it take me to get here? Probably a good 40 minutes, unfortunately. This is this is messy. Boss rush, here we come. I don't think so. I've spent way too much time on everything. That'd be hilarious though. Yeah, I got the robes and the pentagram. I thought so. Let's go grab the Polaroid. And it's utter trash. Thank you. Well, I guess the spirit hearts are welcome. Still. This has been about the most lackluster uh, Judas run I have ever done. <sighs> are you kidding me? Well, you know, I know I'm streaking here, but I really want to just quit this. No more deals with the devil for the Wanderbot. Did I, did I only ever have, no, we did have ceremonial robes. I was about to ask, was that the only time we had a chance at a deal with the devil? And the answer is no. We did have a chance at one other one. But still, this is nonsense. Hey, Dell, how's it going? Welcome to Wanderbot is just kind of demoralized because, god damn it, this run. I mean, yeah, sure, some of my problems were self-inflicted, i.e. the uh, the incident of the hanged man. But still, I just realized I'm actually firing tears at a fairly semi-regular rate. Oh wait, no, that was just small odd mushroom for a second there. Oof. We're gonna be here for a while, aren't we? Uh, on this floor? Yeah. I was really hoping I could get, like, Whipworm or something. Should probably go back and check the secret room. Come to think of it. Did not actually check. As we're here. Okay. So what do we get? Tower. Judgment. Two of clubs. Judgment. Uh, we'll bring it with us. I was hoping for drugs, but it's not gonna do any... Do me any good. Now, I just realized some of these are the kind that will, like, pop and attack you. Which ain't great for me. Should I probably not blow them up? Run them over? Do anything stupid like that? Unfortunately, I'm what is known as a, uh, compulsive personality and I have to run over rocks anyway. Because I am Leo, and therefore I am Stompy. Oh well. I'm okay. I don't care about bombs. I don't care about coins. I don't care about any of these things. I'll try and pay the judgment. While we're here, I'll bomb the other one. Because we're here. I'll take the HP up. And we're not getting a deal with the devil, obviously, but still. Look at how these guys kind of just like futilely ch chase after me for some mysterious reason. Gotta watch out for the black, black ones, though. Black ones go kablooey. Oh, hey. Bam. Actually got something useful for me here. Unfortunately, no dice with the whole Book of Belial thing, but... Well, not Book of Belial, deal with the devil thing, but still. I'm not entirely sure how I hit him and he didn't hit me. I ain't gonna question it. Might want to go back for those keys. Eh, I don't have Guppy's tail. Got him anyway. Okay. Ooh. Super secret room. Awkward fight. Didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Oh well. Honestly, I'm not terribly worried about really anything. I can probably just... I can probably... I mean, Isaac's most dangerous phase when he's actually shooting at you. Kind of a non-issue. Oh, shoot. Or hanged men back the other way weren't there. Damn it. Fuck. Totally forgot about the spikes. 
Okay, whatever. Our health is looking fine. Alright, I was gonna blow this guy up. I don't know what we were gonna get. Okay, well, nothing useful. a very slow march back. Yeah, because I think there's a hanged man card back in the secret room. There we go. Okay. Please have a, uh... Please have a Joker card in it. Please have a Joker card in it. Or I guess please be a Joker... Fuck! God damn it. I am really tired. Like, at this point I'm starting a yawn, which is a problem. Alright, so we get a double card and a two of spades. Well, that solves our key problem. Well, I guess we can book a blow both of these guys. Unfortunately, we're fighting a boss that is not affected by the slowdown effect, which is kind of rough. Oh, at least we get super bandage, which is handy. Now we use... Now we use the uh, devil card for extra, extra Judas's Book of Belial. There we go. I knew I was searching for a word here and we were going to get it eventually. I'm just going to keep shooting. Luckily, rate, uh, you know, slowdowns count as a range down too. So it kind of just sit, nope, can't. Okay, so it doesn't count in that case. That's a shame. I guess th that one has a much higher shot speed than the other one. So go figure. Okay, yes. So as long as it's not her, like, direct stream attack, it's not a problem. Good to know. Okay, well, down we go. And close enough to a good run. Ah, this is such a painful run. This is the last time I take, uh... Where's the Lost? Glorious. This is the last time I take, um... The eyeshadow on prompting from you guys. It's not the worst, but it is definitely a painful run in terms of like wanting to get somewhere fast. I think we would have died a long time ago if I did not ha pick up the stopwatch as part of this. Let's check it out. We might get uh, Cricket's head or something. Nope. We just end up some zeroing on keys. Whoops. Well, not really whoops, just mostly like meh. As well, Book of Belial. As much as I like Book of Belial, I'm getting a little bit tired of the animation that's attached to it, though. I really don't need to see that time and time again, every time I use it, day in, day out. Because that seems a little bit silly, if you ask me. Seems really silly. I am really tired. I can just kind of feel, just like... The feeling of being drained, like, kind of washing over over me. Plus, I'm getting hiccups. Not that they're really necessarily, like, problematic, but it's just one of those where it's like, I am tired, commentary's hard, I can word sometimes, maybe, yes, please, thank you. This is part of the reason why I'm afraid of doing, like, a 24-hour stream, because I stream for so much and record for so much already that, like, a 24-hour stream would just be... A hard thing to do? Like, I want to. I keep saying to myself, you know what? I'll just do it, like, this Friday to Saturday. But I'm like, that would really ruin Catterday. I guess it's not really a big deal. Yep. I don't know. There's a vampire and starts sucking out Wander's energy. Have I ever... I, I've totally mentioned this on, on camera before. But, like, I'm literally a time vampire. I waste your guys' time, I guess admittedly with entertainment, to make a living. It's ridiculous. But not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, we get the sun card, which is completely useless here. It is completely useless here. It's not the end of the world. I'll bring it to the next one, and we'll just bull rush the chest. And it'll be such a good feeling. I'm really hoping I can get an emperor card. Or, even better, two joker cards. If I can get two joker cards, I will accept anything. Unfortunately, the chances of getting two Joker cards, slim to none, sadly, but not overwhelmingly badly. Okay, come on, please be the right way to go. I'm I'm tired of this run. It is physically exhausting. Like, on top of everything else, it's just the slowest, most methodical, drawn-out run I have ever done in this game. I, myself, am fast. The rest of this? 
just sucks. Like, if I had gotten, like, a crazy amount of deal with the devil items, sure, count me in, but... Pfft. Yeah, good luck with that one. This is why I like D6 runs, because there's always a guarantee that you can... You have, like, a choice in that one. This is just, like, bleh. I don't even know. God, so many bots. I'm gonna have to make multiple mods tonight. I might have to. Not a terrible plan. I don't want to have so many that become stupid. So I want to make sure I have the, uh, bookable aisle charged for the... Charged for the Isaac fight. Otherwise, it's going to take even longer. Like, I mean, these headless horsemen really aren't a big deal. You know what? I'm taking Pulse Worm. Screw it. It's not... It's not good. It doesn't make much of a difference. What's a D6 run? A D6 run is whenever you're playing as Isaac, and he starts with a D6, so you end up uh, being able to re-roll anything you want. So say if you don't like an item, you, you can be like, alright, that goes. Okay. Hey, Mega Soldier. Yeah, Rebirth tonight. I've been playing a hell of a lot more Rebirth lately, just because... I don't know. It's, str it, it's a great stream game. It's got a lot of varied content, and it keeps me interested. I should probably look into switching it up with, like, uh, Nuclear Throne as well, though I don't think that streams as well, or at least doesn't have as much of a stream audience. Still, not the end of the world. Okay, we're gonna make it to the chest. This is good. We're not gonna be able to re-roll anything, but who cares? I'm glad I picked up Pulse Worm, though. It is a morale boost and stuff like that. Eden runs are fun to watch. You're right, I should look into Eden runs at some point. Unfortunately, so he, part of the reason why I always go with uh, Isaac is we always race with with Isaac, and we should probably start racing with Eden. Um, but the problem is, like, with Eden runs, you always end up kind of on a similar run to somebody else. Because uh, you don't have a D6, and you automatically, um, you automatically start with the same stuff. I really wish for Eden you had the option of either starting as the same character as somebody else... Uh, you know, the same starting items and stuff. Or different different starting characters with... All of this is completely useless. It's all shit. It's all worthless. Okay, at least we get Sagittarius. I don't even want magic fingers. Screw it. Okay, so we got Strike Through, which actually makes a massive difference against some of these enemies. Like, seriously. If we didn't have a Strike Through, this would take a lot longer. Which I'm digging. I'm digging it a lot. Yeah, no, I could consider doing some, like, really heavy Eden runs. Especially once Afterbirth comes out. Because that would be kind of fun, too. Just to see, like, w what weird shit you can start with. As a result. So, maybe maybe tomorrow night we'll, we'll do... We'll mix it up a little bit and do some Eden runs. Because the other problem is, the whole concept of the Eden tokens screws with my head more than a little. Even though, like, I know I have an infinite number because I'm so good at this game. But it's one of those where it's like, you know, any any kind of depletable resource I will just never use if given the chance. Which is a weird situation, but I do it anyway. This is a very slow battle. I hate enemies that just go into the ground, become invincible, or invisible. Though, there are very few enemies in this game that actually do become invisible. So I guess that's kind of a boon. Alright, watch it be like a double adversary fight right next to this one. No, instead we get Dagas, Hethro, Hierophant, we'll take that. Chaos card. Two of diamonds. Well. I think we know how we're ending this run. Fastest way possible. It does work, right? I actually don't know. I've never... I don't think I've ever chaos carded Blue Baby. Yep, he did. Dakas. 
Pethro, D6 effect, right? Yes, absolutely. That is exactly what it does. Oh. That said, in that situation, don't care. I am just way too tired to continue. I am sorry, Dompa. 100.